tonight we're looking into the Marion County Sheriff's inmate transport policy. This in wake of the death of Deputy John Durham, who died in the line of duty. Tonight, our Karen Campbell digs into potential procedural violations that day and tells us what this means for the department. 13 News obtained a copy of the Marion County Sheriff's Office general orders. According to these documents, the Sheriff's Office may have violated its own policies and procedures. In the jail inmate transport section, it states, high-risk transport shall entail a transport team comprised of at least two CERT members and transport such as non-emergency transport to Eskenazi Hospital shall utilize two jail deputies. Deputy John Durham was the only deputy transporting Orlando Mitchell from Eskenazi Hospital to the Community Justice Campus. Investigators say surveillance video shows Mitchell attacking Durham in the inmate intake area, choking the deputy with the chain from his handcuffs. But when you violate your own procedures, you set yourself up for civil liability, not to mention increase the chances of things going wrong. Those policies and procedures are there for a reason. 13 News spoke with Mark Bolero by phone. He worked as an assistant deputy warden at Rikers for 29 years. The impact on the jails and the community is, is huge when it comes to, to staff being, uh, to, to the departments not having enough staff to, to cover their, their posts. The sheriff's office told 13 News on more than one occasion they were short-staffed. Karen Campbell, 13 News.